Hello my geeks and peeps, this video is for high school students year 2, unit 1, diversity. Think it over, page 15. What does the tableau represent or show? Muhammad Rasim Ramadan Nights, okay? It shows, represents life as it used to be like in Ramadan in the olden times. Words to say, page 15. To revise the pronunciation of vowels and diphthongs through vocabulary related to the topic. We have tableau, okay? It is pronounced tableau, okay? We have here fashion, tradition, modern, jeans, scarf, shawl, food, work, jet, goods, kit, shallow, and we have here a girl, style, her, now, today, today, soil, cure, near, okay, near. Before you read page 16, you have the text here, you can read the text and then answer the questions that comes after and do the activities. There are three sectors of economy, the primary, the secondary and the tertiary. Look at the pictures and identify them. Then say in what sector your father or maybe your mother works. The primary sector, we have production, agriculture. Here, secondary sector, transformation, industry, tertiary sector, services. The pictures with the green background, this is the green background, show the primary sector of economy. This picture with a red background shows the secondary sector of economy. The pictures with a yellow background show the tertiary sector of economy, these three pictures. After reading the text, normally you will be able to answer the following questions. Question A. In which sector of economy did Uncle Hassan used to live? Uncle Hassan used to work in the primary sector of economy. Question B. What did he used to do every morning? Every morning he used to get up early to milk the cows before coming back to the kitchen for breakfast. Question C. What time does he wake up now? He wakes up at 6 in the morning. Which sector of economy attracts the greatest numbers of workers today? The sector of economy which attracts the greatest number of workers today is the tertiary sector. Question E. What does he intend to do if his boss refuses to transfer him to a commercial service? Uncle Hassan is going to retire if his boss refuses to transfer him to the commercial service. Read aloud the second paragraph of the text and arrange the words written in bold type according to the pronunciation of the final letter S. The final letter S can be pronounced S, Z and Is. So pause the video, read paragraph 2 again, and do the activity. Here is the correction. For the sound S, we have works, wakes, fruits, gets, puts. Sound Z, goes, buys, liters, overalls, does, stays. Loves. For the sound is, finishes, services, refuses. Okay? After reading Grammar Desk page 17, read these sentences and answer the questions below. Uncle Hassan used to be a farmer. Today he works in a tomato paste factory. He usually wakes up at 6 in the morning. He didn't used to go shopping in town very often. 
I'm going to retire if my boss refuses my transfer. A. Which sentences are about a habit in the past and which ones are about a habit in the present? Sentence 1 expresses a habit in the past. Uncle Hassan used to be a farmer. Used to is used in the past. Sentence 3 expresses a habit in the present. He usually, usually wakes up at 6 in the morning. Question B. How does the author express a habit in the past and how does he or she express a habit in the present? To express a habit in the past, the author uses the semi-modal used to, like sentence A or 1, Hassan. He used to be, used to be a farmer. He uses the present simple tense and a frequency adverb usually, like sentence 3, to express a habitual action in the present. He usually wakes up, he usually wakes up at 6 in the morning. Question C. Used to behave like a regular verb. Ask and answer two or three questions about... Uncle Hassan, referring to sentence 1 and 4. Sentence 1 and 4. Try them and get back for the correction. C. What did Uncle Hassan used to be? This is for sentence 1. It says, Uncle Hassan used to be a farmer. So we ask the question, what did Uncle Hassan used to be? Okay, did used to. Okay, he used to be a farmer. What did Uncle Hassan used to be? For sentence 4, we have here, he didn't used to go shopping in town very often. So the question, did he used to go shopping in town very often? Did he used to go? Did he used to? Okay. Sentence express a future intention. How does Uncle Hassan express intention? Sentence 5 expresses future intention. Why? The author uses the going to form. He says, I'm going to retire if my boss refuses my transfer. So he used this form, I'm going to. This going to expresses future, okay? The future intention, I'm going to retire, okay? Practice page 18, 19. Complete the sentences below with the positive, negative, or interrogative form of the semi-model used to. An example is given. Example. Samira does not like, doesn't like reading now, but she used to read a lot. She used to in the past. Okay? But she doesn't like reading now. At the present, she doesn't like reading, but she did in the past. She used to read a lot in the past. Okay? So try this activity and get back for the correction. I know that Nesima is living in a small village now, but where did she used to live? Where did she used to live? Okay, so we used here the semi-model used to. Where did she used to live? Okay, sentence C. Now there are four libraries in our town, but there used to be only one. There used to be in the past, okay? When I was a child, I didn't used to wear a burnos. Now I wear one. Okay? Sentence E. I know that she doesn't work at bank now, but did she used to work in one before? Did she used to? Did she used to work in one before? A note. Used to is pronounced used to. Just like had to. Okay? We do not pronounce it used to. We pronounce it used to. Just like had to. We don't pronounce it had to. We pronounce it had to. Okay? Schwa by the end. Activity 3. Each of the sentences below contains an incorrect form of the verb. Correct them to express a habit either in the past or in the present. You can read, do the activity and get back for the correction. So, I restart the correction. Sentence A. In ancient times, most people used to worship stones. Used to. Ancient times. Past. Okay? B. We used to go for long walks 
in the country when my father was alive. C'est ainsi. We usually or sometimes eat out for dinner. C'est ainsi. I used to go to school by bicycle. Now I don't do it any longer. C'est ainsi. In England, most people often go to the theater at weekends. Five. Complete the sentences below in a logical way using going to. Going to is a form of the future. An example is given. Here is the example. You've put too much pressure in the balloon. Mine is going to explode or blow up. So you will do this activity. Pause, do and get back. So sentence B. The referee has put the whistle in his mouth. He is going to end the match. C. Mulud has lost his balance. He is going to fall down. Zora has switched the TV off. She is going to bed or sleep or revise her lessons. E. Karim has just entered the post office. He is going to send a letter or buy a stamp. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Goodbye.